If you're looking to buy small to team coins, go check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. All the links are down below in that description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 10% discount on all of your ores, guys. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins within 60 seconds. What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and today we've got something a little bit different. Today I'm going to show you some players that could be added to FIFA Ultimate Team very very soon. I mean it's not 100% confirmed but they are on the database. You can actually go on your console right now and search for the players and they'll come up guys. So if you know 1,500 likes this video that would be absolutely awesome in the comments below and it will play you want to add the most. And finally if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content guys as we're nearly at 200,000 subscribers. And just for you get into the players, in the background right now you'll be able to see two tweets from the community manager of FIFA. And that's going to be true boy and these are actually referring to the uh, the players being put in packs he says he doesn't believe they'll be added as he thinks it might be a bit of a bug but there's one thing we could go back on this they've actually added Kakar in the past on this FIFA and they also done the skill upgrades which I do believe they said they weren't going to actually do and I have actually tried to find as many cards as possible guys to fit into this one video but uh, there's one card I've actually missed which is going to be Diego Forlan he's actually been added right now uh, but I think we've got 12 players to cover and the very first one is going to be Pablo Aymar he's actually a 76 rated card now and his last featured FIFA I think was back at his long, long time ago, FIFA 13, and his card now, I don't know, the stats I've actually given him are very similar to ones he's gone head to head. So he's on that, and he's got, um, I don't know, 82 passing, 84 dream is pretty good, but the rest looks pretty average. The next one is going to be one of my favorite players from FIFA 13, that is going to be Diamante. He actually had a team this season back then, which was an unreal card, had some incredible long shots, and was an absolute god. But he actually went off to China to play his football, I do believe, and now he's actually gone back on loan to Fiorentina in Italy. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie, his last featured FIFA, he's actually on FIFA for 14 which I didn't actually know but nevertheless um, he actually has gone down to a 75 rated card and I think his initial rating was something like an 83 and that is a pretty hefty downgrade for someone that actually left the game just last January but nevertheless I imagine it'll still be pretty usable and on to the next player and that one then is going to be Ardiger Johnson the Chelsea legend and the Icelandic forward he's now playing for Bolton he actually moved there the same with Heskey uh, about two months ago now but on FIFA he's actually back as a 67 rated card he's also on FIFA 14 and uh, I think he's I don't know I think it's actually the same rating so I don't I don't think they've actually changed his stats. He's pretty slow, but I mean, dribbling and shooting wise, he's pretty good. And uh, I think, I don't know, it'd be quite a cool one to have, seeing as uh, he spent a long time at Chelsea, also featured at Barcelona. That's quite a cool addition. And his part then at Bolton is going to be Emil Heskey. I think everyone wants him to be re added. He's actually now got a face in the player search. He's actually one of the ones added uh, during the, the skill upgrade the other day. So Heskey, I mean, I think, like I said, we all want him back. He was on FIFA 14 playing for Melbourne in uh, Australia, but I mean, he's actually got a pace upgrade on head to head. Looks, uh, I don't know, he doesn't look usable at all. I mean, he's strong as shit, but again, I don't know, there's better strikers, but it's one for the novelty. And this one then really interests me. That's going to be a silver BPL player, which is going to be Kramaric, and he's actually a new signing for Leicester City, and has actually been added to the day space as well. You can search for his name, all these you can search for their name, and he's actually got four-star skill moves and four-star weak fit. It's a really nice player, and uh, these are actually his head-to-head -head stats as well, so it'd be very similar to what his card would be. 75 pace, 74 shooting, 78 dribbling, and uh, some 64 physical and 61 pass. So he looks very usable, and with four-star skills, I think it'd be absolute quality. And this next one then, like Cramridge, has never actually been an ultimate team. That is going to be Lucas Silva. He was actually a Cruzario previously, uh, but wasn't ever on ultimate team. So he's a very, very nice gold card, actually. Some nice stats on head-to-head -head, uh, with some good defending, physical, passing, and decent dribbling. I mean, he's got some okay pace as well. He'd be he'd be great for a lot of hybrids. Uh, but again, it's one of the ones I think we all want due to the fact that it's quite a nice card to have. And it's a Brazilian CDM in the uh, the Spanish league. And now we've got a player that's had quite a big upgrade on head-to-head. -head. That is going to be Mbia. For some reason, I have no idea why he's not actually on the game, uh, because because according to so FIFA, he's actually been on the database since the very start of FIFA 15. And he's actually gone from a 72 or 73 to a 75. And I mean, his pace has gone down quite a bit, but everything else, it looks like an extremely good CDM uh, for Sevilla. I'm not sure why he's not the game again. I don't know. Uh, but I remember his man of the match card last year. He was absolutely awesome. And now we've got a FIFA legend. That is going to be Marcial Zavelli. He's actually had a big upgrade. And he's actually been on the search engine since uh, probably the very start of the game. And he's actually now at Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, but unfortunately, he actually moved there just after the deadline for the FIFA 15 database. So he would have been on there anyway, but for some reason hasn't actually been added. But I think if they, if they were going to add just some of these, I think it would 100% be on there. But unfortunately, he has only got four-star skill moves on head-to-head. -head, but still, them stats are absolutely sick. And it could be a return of the Brasilvas. And United fans will like this one. That is going to be a bronze centre-back, which is going to be Paddy McNair. On head-to-head, -head, I actually think he's a 61-rated card, so you see that in a second. But on uh, the ultimate team search, I think he's in the 40. So he's very, very low on that front. But his card looks, I'd say, I'd say usable for a bronze. He's 61 rated, though, uh, with 64 pace. Some okay defending and a decent physical. For some reason, just said decent physical it's only 60 I thought I honestly said 80 uh, but still it's like an okay card and would be a perfect link with Johnny Evans and I think then this is actually the highest rated player
player of the episode. That's going to be Victor Valdez. He actually joined Manchester United on a free transfer uh, because initially his move to uh, Monaco actually broke down uh, in September. So Valdez, I mean, he's actually returned from injury now. I think he's United's second goalkeeper and he's 83 rated on head-to-head. -head. So, I mean, it'd be quite a nice card to have. And again, he's actually an ultimate team right now with a picture. And now we've got a brute of a striker, which is going to be Yakubi. Feed the yak and he will score. He is joined Reading. has actually scored the other day as well. But, uh, I mean, on FIFA 12, he was actually a really nice card to have. He had a nice uh, second in form. Uh, but nevertheless, has joined uh, Reading now. I I think he'd like a Diamante actually went off to China to play some football. Uh, but he hasn't featured since FIFA 12, so it's been a long, long absence for him. But it looks like an okay card. And I think, it's, again, like Heskey, it'd be kind of for the novelty. The final player is going to be absolute shit, and that is going to be Nikola Zigic. Honestly, not much to talk about him. It looks like a god awful card. And, uh, uh, one that I probably won't use. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button if you find it helpful or anything like that. 1,000 fire rights is the target. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content, guys. And uh, in the comments below, let me know how them players or what other players you like added to Ultimate Team, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.